We're back in the Drug Enforcement and Administration is celebrating a very major milestone, 50 years of the DEA. And here to share more is the El Paso DEA Division Public Information Officer, Carlos Briano. Welcome, Carlos. Thank you, Stephanie. So, uh, happy birthday to the DEA. Yes, yes. It started as an agency uh, in 1973, so yeah, 50 years. And so we're going to start the celebration, I guess, with uh, our, the DEA Museum launched uh, on Tuesday a uh, video that talks about all our partnerships and collaborations mm -hmm. in those 50 years, whether it's from enforcement or from prevention education. But it's uh, one, of our, one of many more videos to come as part of our 50-year anniversary. What can people expect from this video? Well, there's a couple of special agents that talk about their experience in those times. Uh, our chief for outreach uh, is on the video as well, and he talks about uh, how he started when DEA celebrated 25 years mm -hmm. and now we're celebrating 50. So if you want to see some of the ways that DEA relies on those partnerships and collaborations to do the important work of keeping our communities safer and healthier, this is a great video series to watch. And you can watch that at DEAMuseum.org. And then just why is it so important that, you know, we have all these partnerships and we're celebrating this kind of thing in our community? Well, specifically in enforcement, these uh, drug trafficking organizations, they don't just deal with drugs. Mm -hmm. They're dealing with all kinds of crimes. So we have to work with our state, local, and other federal partners to fight them. But also in prevention, it, there's 12 sectors that uh, good prevention education relies on to do the good work. Law enforcement is just one of them, but we have to collaborate with faith-based organizations, with the medical community, with schools, with parents, with the actual youth. So there's 12 sectors that yeah. we have to partner to be more successful in prevention education. And, you know, right now, something that we've been talking about quite a bit is, you know, the rising amounts of uh, the illicit fentanyl right. that the DEA has been seeing. And unfortunately, the deaths associated with exactly. it. Exactly. And that's why these collaborations are important. Mm -hmm. It's not just a DEA problem. It's not just a law enforcement problem. It's a problem for our society. It's a vital health issue. It's a safety issue. Uh, we can argue that it's a national security issue. So these collaboratives and this particular video that you can go watch at DEAMuseum.org talks about how those partnerships and collaborations are important. It's a great series. Uh, it'll be one of many more to come, so go visit that link. It's DEAMuseum.org. All right, Carlos, thank you so much for joining us. And again, a happy birthday to yes. the DEA. 50 thank you. years. Thank Here's you. to 50 more. Yes, thank you. All right, and we'll be right back after this break.